Hello, my friends. Welcome back. It's uh, episode 18. The voice looks a little quiet. Hang on. I don't, I don't know why, because I just checked it. Hello. Okay, that fixed it. Uh huh. It was showing correctly in Windows, and then I just moved it up one point and moved it down one point, and then pressed OK. So I didn't change anything technically, and now it's fixed. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's Google that causes this problem. Very irritating. Anyway, let us carry one on playing. One last quest. The last one. Chin up. <clears throat> you know. <clears throat> I would say to people, like, un understand that streamers and YouTubers have these sound problems because Windows is just, just doesn't listen to you, just doesn't keep your settings. A it, good plan is important, even if it changes on the fly. It is really annoying, but there's not really much you can do about it. Um, it's also how you can tell if someone's genuinely playing the game, you know, uh, not constantly re-recording or, like, uh, splicing or whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> Someone who never has any audio problems, their games never crash, everything just plays perfectly. That just doesn't happen in, in real life. Look, it, it doesn't happen. Cultists. And some people on the ground. They just put them to sleep. Look, mother of naps. Another dungeon's phone's agent. Uh, maybe this one knows the location of the statuettes of Gladelfura. <clears throat> Let's rock. No way, that's our statuette. We took it from Zangdar. Yep. And we properly kicked his ass. It's all we have left after those pen pushers got us. Why would you even tell them about it? Just shut up. The end is near, brothers. Ooh, deacon of pillows. Put them to sleep with a parchment of mass napping. The thing is... About... I just read our last one. The vicar of bolsters got our parchment stuck. Uh, and he just went to the privy. In that case, we'll take the statuette from the eternally sleeping corpses for Dlull's glory. <clears throat> okay. Once again, in this game, it is... It's basically impossible to, uh... To know what the enemy are going to be like, because you can't see their abilities. Let us honor Delul with their eternal slumber. <clears throat> Say no to a quick nap. In your dreams. Oh, do we have to listen to yawns throughout the whole battle? Oh. Ooh, nap time is nigh.
sure that didn't hurt. <clears throat> Okotogoloda, wake up. I need you. What the hell? Salkor, ala fresh. Oh, I only got two. That's pretty bad. Still, I mean, we got two, but I got two and they were like not the wizards. All the wizards got away. Bad. I can't move though. Mm, I suppose I could just like jump in there and start. We'll put them to sleep for good. Hacking away at these spellcasters. <clears throat> I don't remember the lol cultists being particularly dangerous, but still. Do I stay here and just fight the front row? This guy, actually, if I scare him, he, he will take a triple hit. Gonk. Bonk. Gonk. Zob zob. Oh yeah, that hurt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> ah, now I can get him out. Actually, this will be ideal. Lulu. All oh, right, they're both in check now. If they move, they die. front line but I need to get my guys Wake up, powerful barbarian oh it counts diagonals too I should have gone here that's fine Man, he just never, ever, ever faces in a useful direction, does he? I thought if he faced towards me, at least he'd put this guy in check. Instead, he's kind of got his back exposed. And these guys are not about to shoot at him through this wall. Stabilize the elf. Oh yeah, this actually uh, this helps allies. Hi there. We've got to stay focused. Go, go. <laughs> Gonk. <clears throat> Off with you, scoundrel. <laughs> Well done. You just nailed your own guy. I've never seen that happen for me. Actually, now that I think about it. 
I think I could put this on for now. They shall not pass. Even if you move, it's useful. Like, you can just think of it as a very powerful buff until your next move. If you have to move, you just move. Like you don't you don't give up a good move just because to keep the buff, but it's uh for characters that aren't moving. <laughs> I've got the moves. It's great. For characters that are moving, it's at least solid protection until they move again. Chill. Okay, that's annoying. I'm fine. Oh man, this is begging for it, isn't it? Damn, that was spicy. I think that's the most damage I've ever done in a single hit. Oh, look at that. The wall blocks it so I don't get my own guy, and I should get a kill there. Wake up, priestess. No time to sleep. <laughs> oh, man, those guys. Those guys got dumpstered. Oh, this is quite good. Your cultists on fire. Wake up, you irritable titch. I need a shield. Go die, you priestess of butts. Okay, I can use Stellar Reflection here. Or I can't, because it's out of range. I was going to say I could use Stellar Reflection and then shield myself to heal. Do I have something else that will reach? This will reach. Apparently, one diagonal tile is too far for that to stretch. Catch. Hey, oh, ho, ho, ho. Man, this buff stacking is uh, is really doing me a service. Three, 30 precision, 50 damage, and 25% crit chance. That's why. That's why the crits were being handed out like candy. You know, with this buff, she actually does real damage. Is that reinforcements? That's a
We'll put them to sleep for good! Do I risk... Oh look, the precision is actually shown now. That's new. Huh. Well, now we know what the update did. You know, it's funny, these enemies have got like a clickable, or what looks like a clickable thing, but it's not possible to click it. Alright, let's just get to work. <clears throat> he can't build up his attack power if he doesn't attack. If only I could get over there and good deer wallop that guy. Four. One, two, three, four. Here. Oh, you can eat my <laughs> Man, everyone's got, like, epic magic resistance in this. Ooh, excuse me. You can't see me. Alright, let's go. There's no point in staying still. We've got things to do. Dead. Soon dead, but not dead, so I don't get the healing, unfortunately. <laughs> She's been slowed somehow? The healer. Wow, that's going to hurt a lot. Oh, 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 that's amazing. I think that's the biggest single target hit I've ever seen. Kaboom. Okay, let's get in there and check these. They're all wizards now, so... Just get into their faces.
I'm fine. Oh man, they like... They took him out just before his turn as well. Annoyingly. I don't want them to stay asleep because they'll actually heal. Which I don't want. This is worth, actually. It should wake up the troll. Even though I will hurt him. Get out of the way! Arise, a peasant. All right, he's back in the game. Okay, she's in triple check, so I will do Craze Charge, knowing that she's got to move, or she's dead. But if she does move, she's going to take a triple hit, and that will probably kill her too, so... Okay, I can't move, but let's get this back up. Go, right. That one. I don't know, mate. You still took 41 damage. It's still pretty bad. In your dreams. Oh, she's moving. Take that worm. Of course he missed. Of course he did. Mm. Take that worm! Don't miss this time, please. Oh, come on. Come on. That's ridiculous. Oh. 
Wow, my random meter is filling fast. Please, I need some room to breathe. You are not getting out of this. Or she is just getting out of it. <laughs> yeah, let's make sure she dies. Salcor, a la I thought about going for both the archers because I knew that their magical resistance would be would be pants, but that's fine. Shanky, shanky. Fatality. All right, one guy left. One that's in a coma. Remember correctly, her single target damage is actually really good. There's no real reason to uh, use the bouncy attack if it's not going to bounce. Oh, 16% chance that we nail the the, wiz the wizardess. That was really, really risky of me to do that, but it's pretty funny. Trap it out! This guy is officially in pain corner. Wow, he actually kicked for 75. Oh, can't slap him. Nope, can't shoot him. Guess I need to be closer. Bleed, suffer, die. Oh, poisoned. I 
I keep forgetting that his bow is really good. Like, he has this amazing bow, and I keep forgetting to use it. That it is a 100% chance to poison. And depending on their HP, that is a very good ability, because poison and fire and ice, they all, as we worked out in previous episodes, or in the first campaign, I should say, it does percentage damage to health. So if the enemy has got a lot of HP, it can be a very potent way of getting rid of them. did they make it this far? <laughs> what is the other effect that he has? Oh yeah, he's insulted, of course. Robo's <laughs> brudge. <laughs> Okay. He's nearly dead. A dog gun. Is he? The knee pads of the giraffe man. Nobody knows what the giraffe men were, or even why in hell they would need knee pads. Many questions left unanswered, and yet their legacy lives on. Cloth of clientele accumulation. The bearer gains two health and astral energy for regeneration for each hero still alive. So that's, uh... Eight. So that's 16 health and energy per turn. That is surprisingly good. That was the last one. Too bad none surrendered. They truly are fanatics. Quite irate for cultists of Delul. Their frocks weren't like the ones we saw before. Probably a different congregation. There's a lot of those. Look! Another one! What? Bedtime. Oh, dang it. My back's killing me. Logical, since you slept on my knee. We fell victim to a mass sleep spell. Gee, you think so? Hey, the other sleeping folks are gone. <laughs> what? Ah, oh, that little rascal. You talk now? Someone searched his bag. Don't fret, I'm still here. Everything's just dandy then. The talking skull is still here. <gasps> he took the statuette of Gladofura. What? Our last legit quest item? Those snoring bastards will pay for this. Our patron must have forgotten about us anyway. We're way past the deadline. Still, no one pilfers from a dwarf. I swear bloody vengeance. Wait, maybe we should try to cool down and think. Ha! They'll never let me go. What a catastrophe. Why is that man so sad? I told you, I'm not a full-time agent for the fund. I'm a high-caliber thief who got busted <laughs> trying to steal some of the tax collection. Oh, not so much of an expert after all. And they didn't execute you? I got to choose between the gallows or volunteering for the fund. They're always in need of off-the-books personnel for special operations. I've been at it for ten years. Ten years! How much time do you have left? Dr. Oswald promised this was my last mission. All right, that does sound pretty bad. 
I'll help. A little. Super. However, I'm still upset that no one in the party sided with me against Oswald. I'll forgive Agent <laughs> X, given his backstory, and the ogre, since he doesn't understand anything. I don't get anything either. Pretty sure the elf is lost, so give her a pass too. Yep, that's right. Uh, uh, wait a sec. Were you being nice or mean? Anyway, we've <laughs> learned a lot. The cultists of Lull from our time were looking for the statuette. And I get the feeling they didn't know about the time anomaly. Give me just a little more time. Some of my equipment belongs to the Dungeons Fund. Alright. What do we got? Three protection, two movement, five dodge. Three protection, two agility, two movement, and one sprint. Two agility is worth some amount of dodge. I think it's four. 103. Let's see how much dodge I lose. But this is clearly better. So basically, the protection and movement is identical. We are trading five dodge for one sprint and two agility. This should improve my capabilities. Which is a net loss of one dodge. So we are trading one dodge for one sprint. Is that a good is that necessarily a good trade? What else does dodge do for uh what else does agility do for him? Oh, it also raises his precision by two. Which is actually good for him because of the nervous blast move. Which gains minus 10 precision with every strike. So it makes the, the quad hits more likely. That is that is definitely worth it. Although it what is... Do you want, peasant? It's much closer than I thought. But it's still worth it. Okay, so the staff does straight up more damage. Straight up more damage. Precision isn't really a big deal. Critical chance drops a little bit. No, sorry, critical chance improves. No, critical chance drops a little bit. Critical damage is the same. Heals given is lost. But <clears throat> that massive stat, that massive two health and astral energy per per hero alive is is amazing. And I took away the pendant from her that regens her energy. So in a way, this is a great fill-in. Exactly what I needed. Do I have something to jot down some quick notes? Okay, this is just an ordinary staff that gives four courage. It does less damage, but she never does standard attacks because she's got so many attack skills. Like, the Priestess ends up doing standard attacks in certain situations where if all your allies are healed and the bouncy lightning spells are on cooldown or there isn't a good target for them, she shoots. Whereas the Wizardess never primary attacks because she's almost certainly got a spell ready. And they're all better than her primary attack. And that four courage is better than nothing, right? Yeah, okay, so the scepter's going in the bin. The thief's old shoes are going in the bin. I've got some medium health potions lying around. Ugh. Reminds me of potions class and that awful teacher with the greasy hair. Which are useless. They heal far too What's little for combat. Ah, my bad. Ah. 
I was thirsty. <laughs> I'd rather have a nice gallon of ale. Well, it tastes bad. Reminds me of my granny's soup. Good to use them up because they're heavy. It's my boots. It's impolite to search the royal lady's dress unless she invites you. Right. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I guess that's it for now. We're right next to the shop, so next time I'll just drop off some of this garbage and just trim my inventory a little bit. I wouldn't carry so much stuff if this game. Oh, what a pretty drawing. What is it? If this game wasn't known for constantly stealing your money, I wouldn't feel it necessary to carry around loads of stuff, but since it does, I have little choice. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you guys next time.